Hello and welcome to this science revision video. Now in this video we're going to look at states of matter. So you probably know the states of matter, solids, liquids and gases. But what are the key differences between them? Let's fill this table in now and think about it. So a solid has got a fixed shape. Obviously we can't pour a solid, we can't stir a solid and we can't squash a solid. Liquids, um, the shape can be changed. Think about when you pour a glass of milk, you're changing the shape, aren't you? Um, yes, we can pour it. Can we stir it? Yes, we can. Can you squash it? Yes. Well, we'll look at this in a few minutes, shall we? Let's debate that one. Now, gases have no shape at all. Can you pour them? Yes, you can pour them. Think about carbon dioxide being quite heavy. You can pour that. Can you stir it? Again, possibly you can stir it. Can you squash it? Most definitely, yes, you can. OK, so those are the three states. Let's look now at the change of state. So solid, liquid and gas. The first change here, if it's going from a solid to a liquid, we say it's melting. When something goes from a liquid to a gas, we say it's boiling or evaporating. When it goes from a gas to a liquid, we say it's condensing. And lastly, when it goes from a liquid to a solid, we say it is freezing. Now, in a solid, the particles are fixed in place and cannot move. In a liquid, the particles are free to move within the container. For example, a cup or a beaker, the particles are free to move within it. A gas isn't contained. The particles are free to move about wherever they want to. OK, let's look in a bit more detail now at each of these states. First of all, the solid. Now, solid, here are the particles in solid. They've got very strong forces of attraction. They are held in a fixed position, what we call a lattice arrangement. They don't move, so they have a very definite shape and volume, and all they can do is vibrate. Now, as they become hotter, i.e. they gain heat energy, the particles vibrate more. And as they begin to vibrate, so they push against each other and they start to expand. Now, this lattice can't be compressed, and generally solids are very dense. Now, when heated, the molecules will gain heat energy they vibrate more and more. The heat energy is being transferred to kinetic energy. Eventually, strong forces overcome, molecules start to move, and we say the solid has melted. It's now become liquid. Now, liquids have some attraction between molecules. The molecules themselves are free to move. There's no definite shape. Then the, the, uh, the molecules take the shape of the container, and the molecules are in constantly random motion. Now, when heated, they start to move faster and they expand. They push against each other and they expand. Liquids generally can't be compressed. That's why they're very, very good for use in hydraulics. But they're still quite dense. Now, when you heat them, the heat makes the molecules move faster as they gain more and more energy and transfer that to kinetic energy. At the surface, the very fast-moving molecules will overcome the force of attraction and they will eventually escape. And we call this escape evaporation. And when they evaporate, they become gases. Now gases have no forces of attraction between them. They're free to move, they travel in straight lines, sometimes they collide, they have no definite shape or volume and they expand to fill any available space. If you put them in a container they exert pressure on the wall of the container because they're constantly moving randomly. As you heat them again they move faster. They can be compressed so gases are no good in hydraulics and because they can be compressed with very low densities. When heated enough, molecules have enough speed and energy to overcome forces and escape each other. Molecules can break away in big bubbles of gas, which is in the form of boiling. Now here we've got here a little time temperature graph for heating. So if you heat the solid, as you heat it, okay, molecules, particles vibrate more and more, eventually you reach the melting point. The melting point, it then turns to liquid. And again, the particles vibrate more and more and more, eventually they break free boiling point is reached, they become a gas. The opposite is true when it starts to cool. So in cooling, as a gas cools, so particles slow down. They slow down, start clinging together, they condense to form a liquid. The particles here can still move, but eventually they reach a point where the particles stop moving about and they're freezing and turning back into a solid. Okay? So in this video we looked at states of matter. If you want to know more about the um about the science of videos, then please visit my website here. Lots of free resources here to download at www.sciencevisionvideo.com. Thanks for watching and listening, and I'll see you again very, very soon.